guys, this is Mark from MrHurricaneTracker.com. I just wanted to make a real quick exciting video for you on how to track hurricanes with me using Google Earth. Using Google Earth is a very useful tool in tracking hurricanes. In fact, I use it all the time as you see on Mr. Hurricane Tracker on YouTube. Especially uh, we're looking at uh, the Tropical Depression, what was Tropical Depression 5 and is moving on out into the Gulf of Mexico. This is a live radar image guys of the area that the Tropical Depression moved on through and now is moving back. This is a live radar image so this is what we're looking at. Radar images can be a little bit delayed so there's always a chance that the image could be delayed from the National Hurricane Center or the radar image itself. So what we're looking at is a live radar image of what's happening now and we have tropical storm uh, warnings that usually will be posted as well. You will also receive uh, images right here if there's any tropical storm warnings or watches. If there is, they will be shaded in the color blue or whatever color the tropical storm or hurricane warnings are. So that's pretty much it. And the way to do this, you're going to have to download some tools for this. The way to do this is you're going to go to the Google Earth blog. I'm going to go ahead and post this link in the website and are on the description of the video as well. The way you're going to do this is once you go to this link, you'll see right here there's a little area where it says Weather and Tracking Tools Network Link. And you're going to click on that. And when you do that, you can click on Open. And that KMZ file will go straight to your Google Earth. And I'm going to say no because I already have it. Now, once you see that, it's going to start. If you're already looking at the actual cloud map, you'll start seeing the information coming up on your Google Earth trying to change. But the way to get to it is you go up here to View, Sidebar, and right on this sidebar, you'll see a lot of new options that you're going to have. So if you don't see that, you're going to see Weather Tools from Google Earth Blog. It's going to look just like this. And since I downloaded it twice, it's already going to be in there. But you maximize that or expand that and you'll see hurricanes and line positions you're going to click that and when you do click that if there is a hurricane out there it will actually give you a line position and show you where it's at and even give you the information and it's going to even give you a path which it'll be a little green line showing a path on that so you got that and you got a lot more than that just to look at so if you continue to go down and open up or expand your other uh, little tabs You'll see there's one called Weatherbonk, and that one gives you satellite images of the rains and storms. And you have one also that has one that shows severe weather, NOAA severe weather. I clicked on that to show you what I mean. In fact, if we zoom on in here to the area right here of Denver, just uh, south of Denver, Colorado Springs, you'll see here there's a severe thunderstorm warning. And that little tap there, the yellow, little yellow tap, you tap on that little one and you click click on it actually it'll bring up the information of what storm is out there and what's where it's moving so basically that's a lot of information to give you right now I want to show you exactly also you can download Google Earth I'll also bring up a link to show you where to download Google Earth the latest version and that is googleearth.com and you can download Google Earth 5 so right now that is the latest version of Google Earth and I wanted to actually share this with you so you can track the hurricanes with me right here on Mr. Hurricane Tracker. So stay tuned and we have more updates on the Tropical Depression, uh, well, will soon be Tropical Depression 6 possibly and we'll keep you posted on that again bringing updated information by tomorrow. So please stay tuned and have a great day.